<laughs> All right, we are live. Emily, how you doing, Emily? You ready? I am good. I am ready. I like you this know, sequence. We're going to Saratoga today. You know, Del Mar, you know, it's too late on Friday for us. We're sleeping. But uh, but Saratoga, we're going to hit the pick five, the late pick five here. We're going to do our best to help people hit it at least. And um, so I, I think we should just dig right in. What do you think? Not, not oh, yeah. Five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. We, got, we got 30 okay. minutes. All right, so here we go. So race um, seven, I have an, uh, an opinion in the race seven, Emily, okay? Yes. And my opinion is that if I was playing to pick five seriously in this race, probably like 90% of my tickets would go through the three elusive princes. Okay. Um, this, <laughs> this horse has run like really well. And like when you compare her form and how well she's run against the quality of horses in Europe, especially like France, especially Phillies in France. I mean, just, just you know, Longchamp, just higher quality. Um, her last race was a grade one. No one here is even running a grade one, I don't believe. And, or, oh, I guess the Bel Belmont Oaks is. But um, when you compare the gr European grade ones to the, the U.S. grade ones, there's no comparison. That was a 15-horse field. You can see I got her highlighted. She, got, she has no plot, obviously. But she closed again. She's the only one closing in that in those in that field. Emily, it was 15 horses, so like it was like just the front four kind of went around the track, and she was kind of moving late. She has this kind of ability to kind of like just sit and then just explode when she needs to. She's like push button kind of horse. Uh, she just had some kind of trips in the last few. Like uh, two back was tactics. She got left with too much to do in that event, but she just exploded late. And then and then three back. This was the most amazing freaking race. I just, it's incredible what she did. I mean, she just got bottled up inside. She got stopped cold while he was trying to make a move. He's just like, okay, whatever. She tried to go up the rail. She angled out and then flew. I mean, she just flew. <laughs> she almost won the race anyway. I mean, it was a, the most amazing race. So for me, I'm all over her. I, I, I just, you know, I, I really, I'm going to single her because just from a class perspective. And then the other thing is, is all her races have been on soft turf. So we got we don't know what the track's going to be like. Um, I mean, the only thing that I worry about is you know with Euros, especially they come over the gate, gets trapped behind. But the field is really kind of uh, kind of narrowed down. So you know maybe traffic won't be a big issue because if she's anywhere near like the, uh, the top at the top of the stretch, she's going to roll right by these horses. It's my opinion, and that's all I would want to say in that race. But I know you have some other opinions. Uh, I mean, I see no, seven eleven. I'm with you. Yeah. No, yeah, I mean, I, uh, yeah. Oh, you saw I wrote it up? No, no, you didn't. I didn't see that. No, I did, I did write it up. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I think she's she's the horse to beat. We're seeing right now nine to five opens up as a favorite. It's the favorite in, in all the wheel pay. So very logical for, for all those reasons. Um, the two horses that I was a little more interested in, we'll start with the 11 just in terms of the plot. Um, and you have the excuse last out. And I think the extended comment is telling just not, maybe not quite on the level, but going in pro in previous races had noted kind of a progressive type, has some ability, um, and would be worth just in terms of a pick five. I don't know if he's like a top contender, but in other factions of the race, um, one to, to throw in the mix. The other horse that is just kind of an unknown sort of is the five. Mm. Um, the five, obviously, the the debut we can excuse, and then the the note at Gulfstream Park is telling with that marathon, just that this horse could run all day, and it has a better than looked in a Grade Three, has grit running at Keeneland, was covered up the rail last out, maybe not the ideal ideal trip there, um, but watching her work, I watched her works coming into this, and um, looks good by all accounts, and is one that just there's nothing there's nothing really wrong you know another one yeah. that's just getting a little bit a little bit faster um and a big number and you know look at the plot that's yeah no i i, I agree with you so you know but like i said probably 90 percent of my ticket would go through the three and then maybe the 10 percent i would use the you know the just the squares there the five seven eleven as backups you know they just seem to be the right price and the right uh horses so that's kind of the way I would approach that. Uh, Jeff has a question real quick um, on this race in, in terms of the nine. 
Uh, notice something odd about the B bar, the quad percentage for nine. She's a Q3 circle, but has top surface distance V bar. Uh, yeah, you know, you know that, that could be because, uh, Jeff, the, there's very limited amount of races at 9.5 furlongs at, at Saratoga. So, that, that, and it's an oddity, but it could, it could be the case. That's just, 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 the, I mean, the data is the data. So, um, yeah, that's, that could be, that could be the reason. Just, just yeah, that, it, there's a small sample size for this distance. Is that and then the case of uh, just in general, just kind of backing up as a whole, is it being kind of a red plot fit? It's just, it's hard to kind of tell where anybody yeah, it, really is, yeah. especially with a couple of the horses that are, we can't plot. Yeah, we can't plot the two, three, and the eight. So, I mean, you know, it's I, I wouldn't trust, you know, as much the plot here, other than, you know, just looking at horses that can finish. And because uh, you're going to, you know, you always need to finish on turf. Now, the other thing is, um, you know, it does come up yielding. So that's another dimension in this. And so uh, the one thing, again, that what I like about the favorites, all her races have been on soft turf too. Um, so, I mean, I know, we know she can handle it and she can close into it. So some horses can't. Um, sometimes we talk about sometimes with the soft cur courses, you know, somebody kind of getting out to the lead and, you know, hard to reel in because horses behind spin their wheels. So, um, you know, that may be the only consideration for maybe the one or the four. Um, but I just can't, you know, I just can't, I mean, I just have to go with the three and, and bite the bullet enough said. <laughs> All right, race eight. Um, what, what, what was your take on this race, Emily? On race eight, um, I like the notes on the one, just being in a, an improving type, another one that looks just solid in here. Um, we're this race is on the turf, yeah, it okay. is, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I mean, just as a horse that's listed as the morning line favorite, I don't have any knocks on this one. Um, Outside of that, okay, so the 10 looking at the doubles right now is going to be the big second choice. And I, I get, you know, that horse makes sense. It's fine, whatever. But it is interesting that Ortiz is landing on the two. Jose Ortiz is mm -hmm. sticking with the two. And the two is another one that hasn't really run a bad race. Um, it's been improving. And... I think this is an aggressive spot to come back off the layoff and to run in this race. And the workout times are, are consistent. And I know they don't look like much on paper, just in terms of like the raw time, but it's very typical watching the works, very typical the way Pletcher trains has the horses, you know, under a hold and pretty much after the drill or closing that closing quarter mile out past the wires when the horses do most of their work. Um, and that's how this one's training. And so his, his works are, are fine. You know, it's turf horse training on dirt, but I just found this horse very interesting in here. Um, yeah, I mean, could maybe a one, potential wire to wire kind of scenario. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, in, improving every race is, you know, it's good. Yeah. Even with the, uh, you know, the bias last out, but tough to kind of hold it against him, I guess. I don't know. Um, the six is another one. I, I'm kind of feeling shug this weekend and, we, and I read <laughs> one of your, one of your notes. Um, yeah. and it, and it was kind of following a trend that shug, shug starts off the meat a little bit slow and then yeah. picks up. So this yeah. is about the time where things could turn around and, and the, and it's always the key to try to get ahead of that curve. Right. Cause once people start seeing the shug runners do well, then they, they start, you know, falling in line. So, uh, general Jim, he's, he's been, he, he's a horse who just has class because he's versatile, both on the dirt, on the turf, yeah. uh, distance wise, the mile is his max. We've kind of figured that out. He's fine around two turns. You just don't want to go, you know, much, much beyond that. And as far as the Woody Stevens, it's just a C, but I, that was probably a big regression. Wouldn't you say running that yeah. big race in the Pat day mile off a three month break and then coming back right. in 35 days. So I I'm willing to just kind of, you know, you expect yeah. to see more, but you can also make an excuse why you didn't. So those are the ones um, in here that I, I, I didn't have any interest for the three. Um, I know that one's probably going to take some money, but I, I like those other ones better. 
Yeah, it's a it's a it's a tough race. I'm kind of spreading in this race, and I just thought a couple of horses that were a little bit you want to also consider, and that's the nine. Um, I thought that Penn Mile was better than looked, and um, you know the, the race before we had a drop in the American turf, which came back as a key race for what it's worth. Uh, so I just think that this is a horse that just is good enough to like if you. He's kind of got out of the gate slow that day. Key race, you know, it was just a good race. Was really kind of okay, kind of an improvement pattern. If you kind of consider that, you know, the last race was better than a look at. And let me just take a look at my extended comments on this. Now, lose his prep, but exposed most of the trip. Yeah, he's premature, made a quick move. Still stayed. I thought, I thought it was a big effort, actually. It was a sneaky big effort. So I want to, you know, consider that horse. Um, and the 10 comes out of that same race, that, that key race. So... I, I, you know, and it ran really well in terms of uh, numbers, you know, first two starts. You know, I don't like the breaks in racing, but um, it's just two horses that might kind of get overlooked a little bit that you might want to consider. Um, the 10, the 10 is not, the 10 looks like he's going to be strong second choice. He's going to second, okay. Yeah, and he's, and he, and, he, and the other thing with the 10 is that he could potentially could kind of take them, you know, he could go out there early and try to wire the field. He's got the potential to do that. So, but nine, anyway, nine, and, nine and six are also nine, six, and two are the other ones. It's kind of like one, one, ten, nine, six, two. Yeah, uh, it's 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 a wide open race. I think the only horse that we didn't mention was the uh, the four two. Um, it just, I mean, you just got to respect this horse coming over from Europe, running in those great stakes races. He did okay. It was great to place there in Europe in france so you know i know i know i know we gave him almost every horse but it is a it's a tough race it's a spread race for me and that's okay. what I, um okay so this race um for me emily i kind of like the, the the five a little bit in this race just from let I me mean, just kind of look at the plot i'm just thinking of course i thought this race was pretty good in, at the finger lakes i don't know if he's gonna be able to duplicate the form but just the fact that it was at finger lakes and these connections uh, they're not going to bet this horse. Uh, and I just think on, on that plot alone and the number, I think this horse is okay to, to use. Uh, the four I don't like, though. I mean, the great plot, but I just think based on that last race, I think the form is going the wrong way. And so I'd be playing against that. And then the only other horses that I would consider in here would be the three and the seven. You know, they both plot around the mid, you know, the mid place here. And, and, um, you know they're, they're okay the seven i like you know i always love horses with kickback i think they improve even though this horse won uh if there's some improvement there this horse could be really tough so for me i'm against the four i'm going to use the three five seven can you pull up the grid in this race and sure. i'm going to look at number eight big hazel not little hazel big hazel so this this horse comes out of the same common race with the seven back on june 16 and was another one that had a note that space saved no push x bias and then one next out and just in terms of the form cycle it's a similar form cycle pattern because they ran that horse back on nine days yeah. they're doing the exact same thing here so it looks like that race last out was like a prep was wide weren't <laughs> trying to run in that race and now I mean, there's a, there's a difference. Yeah, there's a difference. This race wasn't a prop. This horse actually, you know, was against the bias, you know, like. No, I, no, I no, 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 no. The what? 726 race being a prep. No, I got you. I, I'm just saying, I, I, you know, I got you. But I'm just saying, like, to me, I don't think it's a, you know, ex same exact pattern, right? This horse, I thought, just underperformed because of circumstances. Here, I, I didn't, other than being wide and maybe a quick pace, and maybe just not liking the distance, you know, maybe the cutback is, is what this horse wants. But I, the only concern I have is when, when I see this, okay, like a horse that's going to cut back to sprinting after routing like that, and the race is like a low number, I really want to look at the middle fractions, like the early fractions to see if, okay, they must have been, maybe they were smoking. And, you know, and I can understand, you know, this horse is not a router and he's going to cut back the right but they went really slow early and this horse wasn't really on the lead I, I know i'm just saying that that race i don't think they were trying to do anything that day so well, i don't could, like, could i be. don't care that it, i don't care that it sucks like i would i'm making the case that that race 
it was like a workout, not yeah. even, not even anything. And going back, going back to um, the May fifth race, I know that horse got beat, but like that was like they were on a fast pace. It's like this horse has had has yeah, had some see. terrible trips, has had some setups, but also has has shown run in spots. Yeah, I did. And, but I see. Uh, I kind of like I like that race because you know the the, the pace was fast. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. Well, cool. Uh, anybody else in here? Or no, no. Okay. I mean the one. I thought the one was going to be kind of like a cinch, and then the with the one out, it just it changed everything, and it, it'll help the five because the one was going to be was going to be. Yeah. Changed. Don't you think? I mean, like the five. No, they, they never touch horses like this. <laughs> they just let yeah. these things go. Uh, just it's odd. Uh, so now we're off the turf for race 10. And so what, what, what was you thinking here, Emily? I, I kind of like a horse here. I just, you know, no big. I mean, just from a plot perspective, I like the seven. I don't know if this horse could wire this field, but um, uh, there's just like, there's some horses like the 10 I don't like. So I, I was kind of leaning seven. What was your thought? Yeah, I mean, I, I would kind of uh, defer to the plot, especially looking at the track. They're saying it's the outside, outside kind of favoring a little bit. Um, 14. Makes sense. Yep. 11, 12. It'd be like those those horses and everybody else. Yeah. Is a no. You do have a strong, you do have a strong note on the 13. Yeah, that come out of a, yeah that, that race came out pretty strong for that level. Oh, yeah. that horse isn't bad. No, he's not. He's not. Um, in fact, you know, I, but the only thing is, is I'm just the best concerned race. that he doesn't keep up again. You know, I just. I mean, I, I, I could see the 11 too, but I just didn't like the last, it was on turf. Of course, kind of getting back to dirt. And, he, and the, look at the 11. It was just the one thing I wanted to show everyone about the 11. It was this race right here, off the turf race. I mean, that was a really good race. I mean, got benefit from the bias, but um, when you kind well, of look at it, if you look at the race, races are good. What's that? The woodbine races are good. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, just kind of this for me popped out a little because it, all those other are not, are in different surfaces, right? I, so yes, kind of like, yes, yeah. but it, it it can also suggest it's a horse that can handle any type of surface because he's yeah, run yeah, on the yeah. dirt, he's run on the turf, he's run on the synthetic. Well, that's what I was. That's why I wanted to look for the dirt to confirm that. Like I, that, so I was as I was searching. I'm like, oh. That's a pretty good dirt race. So it's off the dirt, and we got a, you know lucky from bias. So, I mean, there's things going, but still, it's a good enough number. That number would crush this field, right? Yeah. 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 So was, the eleven. The eleven's a use. I prefer the eleven. I don't. I'm, I'm not crazy about the twelve. I'd pass on the. No, 12. me neither. I don't. Yeah. Like yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. Well, an update. It did start to rain at at uh, Saratoga. Thanks. Thanks, D. Appreciate it. Um, so oh, it's they, raining again. Yeah. Yeah. They should move these horses out, get them out, and get them running. Yep. Uh, what are you going to do? Nature. Okay. This race was tough for me. Um, I was I was spreading in this race, Emily. I really I could, use, I could use five horses and maybe still not get the winner. But I thought a couple of interesting horses. I thought the. Uh, I know, and, and I know there's another horse they're not going to bet is the three, just because, you know, like see these Indiana Tampa horses. But, I mean, could this horse potentially kind of just sneak away on the lead? Um, and, and, I just, and I just think the the three and the 11 look like they may, like, trip. Because, like, the 13, 14, and five, okay, right? Nothing wrong with them. You use them, like, you have to use them. But I'm looking for, like, somebody else. And I just kind of look at this pace of this race, and I'm wondering if the three and the 11 could, like, go, like, one, two around the track or something like that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, t I texted you about the 11. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, like yeah, that, I forgot. I like that I horse's remember. last I just, race. I, just, I, just, I, just I like that horse's last race yeah. a lot. I thought it was a sneaky good race. Um, Let me just go. So that one I'm, I'm using <laughs> regardless. <laughs> um yeah. So and yeah, then everybody, I, I had the th I, I thought both Mike Makers made sense in this race when it was on the turf. This one being a private purchase, 
Um, and Mako just does good with kind of stretching these horses out. I, so this would be the time to find out if this horse is anything. Um, the the 11, I, let me, I just want to say one more thing about the 11, um, is that that jockey trainer combination, they've run like two horses. One was like 10 to one ran his guts out, lost back on the nose to them, to another horse. And I'm not big on these, but I'm just, I look for an angle because like, it's just weird to me, Walden, even running horses and then, you know, Pratt. And then the le- yesterday, I think it was yesterday, this, the horse got like a horrific trip. I mean, the horse should have won the race and just got like jammed up inside and had a completely stop on him. So kind of a sneaky live trainer jockey combination. It's like you, you almost wish it wasn't a big name jockey though, because yeah. People see people see Pratt and they're like, oh, Pratt's aboard. He must be, you know, this horse must be something. Why would he be riding for this barn? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, yeah. So I, mean, uh, I, went, I went 311 as my keys, but I mean, uh, if I'm kind of right on elsewhere, I want to have the five, uh, 11 and 14 in there. Just, just for, for the sake of the information, for the sake of the plot, just one of those just keeps, you know. <laughs> They plot well. I don't want to. I don't want to be. If I'm I'm good all the way up to there, I don't want to be knocked out because of that. So that's yeah. my approach. So all right. So there's seven minutes. No, po- wait, wait. Post time. <laughs> Something happened. Well, because it started to rain, so they probably held them up. I know, but I I thought I looked over at the paddock and said like seven or eight minutes. I must have looked at the wrong thing. But in case they headed to the... Yeah. Yeah. So eight to five is that, that horse is going to take a late hit. Don't you think? I mean, that's, that's a, this horse, in my opinion, should be even money would be a fair value on this horse. I bet. Well, um, yeah. I mean, maybe people aren't being as, as punchy just because of the turf conditions, just being a little bit unknown. Yeah. And if it was, if it was on like firm or something like that, then probably we'd have more confidence to go big. Yeah, well, that's 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 an opportunity. I see it as, you know, uh, that's right. Yeah, and, yeah. But uh, uh, you know, there's there's the value if you're playing playing this race with uh, with the five and the eleven, um, along with the his, three. Look at this horse. Yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Short warm up. Seven being a little tough. Who's on this horse? Pratt, right? Pratt's on this horse, I think. Yeah. Who are you liking at Jim Danny tomorrow? Should we look at it at uh, some point? Yeah, we can look at it. Yeah, let's, let's watch it. Jim Dandy. Oh, jeez. It's like, do I, do I, Whitney, I'll, do tell, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you who's going to win the Jim Dandy. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I meant the uh, it'll, it'll be Forte by a nose, and he'll have to survive an inquiry. <laughs> Boy, what, 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 what kind of controversy, man? I don't, I don't know what everyone was watching in that. I didn't know if it was that controversial. But yeah, I, I, I looked at it like cut and dry. You know, it's and people are like doing like freeze frames and doing like, well, if you look here, and it's like that's like <laughs> the worst way to you ever to ever look at something of just like a tiny a tiny sliver, like yeah, a tiny sliver the of the entire of the entire. You know, the NFL, they slow it down. You still you, you become more confused about the call. Yeah. Right. Like, you know, the, when they do the NFL re- replays, it's like forget it. I mean, it, it, those things are for like obvious things, right? That's, you know, you say, okay. Now, if you're going to let, oh, this re- looks like it's really raining. I don't know what, what that means, but it looks like it's really raining. Yeah. Sometimes it, it's deceiving on the camera. It didn't look as bad as they were going in the gate, so it might be the camera. Who's yeah, the sometimes the angles or something. Yeah. Five's getting a little trouble. The three is same in ground. The 11 is staying out of trouble. You say that's pretty quick, given yeah, the rain? Uh, yeah, considering the turf course, too. Yeah. It's got to be a little boggy, you know? It's like... They slowed it down.
Seven started to make a move. Three was like, mm, I better better go with this horse. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven starting to go. Seven's gonna try to take first run. Not five, not so good. Oh, it is three on the outside. Motoring. Goodbye. So eleven is running. Maybe eleven eleven having a little bit too much too late, but Showed some run. But class on the turf. Easy peasy. Yeah, that was my horse was. Yeah. So, so that outside may be inside may be not that great, at least in the stretch or something for him to move out. Either that or he's just had so much the best horse he just want to get blocked. Yeah, I think that's what I think that's what it was. I wouldn't yeah, take anything yeah. away from, yeah. from the course because it seemed just pretty logical in terms of like the results and yeah. Yeah. Okay. The pace Should I pull up the uh, Whitney? Yeah. Okay. Oh, and by the way, folks, you know, people that follow us in uh, Bioproduct, if you buy the Silver Plan tomorrow, you get the um, Free Up Focus report. Um, and I, I did the last, I didn't publish it yet. I'll be doing that tomorrow. I want to see how the everything falls out tomorrow with the weather. But uh, I did the pick set, you know, the final six races. So you can. If you're playing a pick six or a pick five, pick four, you can follow along and see see how I kind of analyze the races using optics. Okay, so Whitney is race ten, and uh, I mean um, Emily, I mean you got to be against Cody's wish in this. I mean, don't you? Why? Uh, because this horse is hasn't. His worst verse is around two turns. Mm. I don't, yeah, and, you, but, and it's, reflect, it's reflected in his plot. Yes, but this, when were those? When were those races? One of the races was well, as a younger horse. It was yeah, a seven start. It was that trip at at um, Saratoga. Agree, agree. Um, but. And then his and then his second race was that challenger at Tampa. And that was a good race from him. He didn't win, but he ran a good race that day. And that race, that challenger race, was was strong. And the mm -hmm. horse that won, the horse that won the race, came back and it was a shug horse. Came back in his next start, won the Ben Ali. A uh, couple other stakes horses in there. Two Todd Pletcher horses. Uh, okay, I wrote them up. Um, Wolfie's Dyna Ghost was in that race. Dynamic won. Was in that race. Um, okay. Oh, greatest, greatest honor! I just thought okay. it was it was a solid it was a solid field. And then here's the here's the other thing, right? I I I mean, okay, I get it. Like that would be the reason to like take a shot again. No, no, that, but that's but, not, okay. I, I just I, that's not the only reason. But I'll, but go ahead. Okay, if there's if there's other reasons, I'm just gonna knock out in terms of in terms of the two turn races. I'm willing to you know at least in that second start they yeah. thought enough at that time to think. This is what he wants to do. So at right. least there was some intention. Now, the other thing is the nine for a long distance. If you look at the rest of the horses in this field, it's not their ideal distance. No, I agree. None of these, you know, so it's like I have a hard maybe, time maybe The exception of the one. The exception of the one. I would say the exception of the Lucas horse. Why do I not have this? Yeah, one? you had a four. What race? What race? No, there was something about the one. Yeah, the, one the, one. One. The, the one is the one. The one is the one. That's the problem with the one. The one is the one. I mean, meaning he, he just kind of likes to finish second. You know, he kind of just like makes a move and just doesn't finish finish it off, right, at, at this level a lot of times. Right. So yes, just, class. Agreed. Class. Agreed. Yeah. And, and, I, and I got your opinion of the four. I, I, I wouldn't uh, underestimate the five in this race because I think he's going to take it. To, I mean, I I think they're going to go. I, maybe not. Maybe they won't. But I have a feeling they may try to go, and and get out in front of this field, and try to wire this field, try to stretch them out. My problem with Cody's wish is not so much that you know, yeah, the two turns. That's one thing. But the real thing is, is when he's in, you when you're in a race, he's kind of established himself as a closing one turn horse, and you you, you know, in those races, you get that pace, that real pace to run at. When you when you have to like run your make your move and then extend another eighth of a mile, you know, in, in this case, I mean it's eighth of a mile from his last race, but I mean it generally it's even longer. It's two, you know, a quarter of a mile. 
it's a, it's just different. You know, it's just it's just kind of a it's different than he what he's been facing, right? And that's my concern. He's gonna like have to like pass or and it kind of extend that move he's been making that he's been used to. Like, I'm just concerned. He's like, okay, the race is you know race is done because <laughs> you know he's so keen to like kind of make that move, finish with like a you know, this, horse, this horse has been closing like a freight train. Then he's gonna like realize he's got to go another quarter of a mile, all right? And you know from his last race, another eighth of a mile. That's that's my only concern, right? And then I I just don't you know anytime a horse has a tendency, he doesn't have a tendency, but he he can on occasion have trouble at the start. That's just concerning me. He's got to have to close different kind of close, so it's a different kind of dynamic. And I just not gonna take you know three cent you know th three to five on a horse like this. I mean I yeah he could. He, you know, uh, I, I I don't know. I just I just think it's a it's this. If you can take a shot against this horse, this is the race to take a shot. Now, the other thing is the Mott's barn is like on fire right now, and I don't know if it continues or we're ready for the you know start shorting it. You know what I'm saying? It's been yeah. on such fire lately that I'm just thinking maybe we're coming into a period where we start shorting the barn uh, because you, we know that these things only can last so so long. And I think like Sunday you had three winners and. I just, I just think that's just my brain from a betting standpoint. Maybe why, why I want to take a shot against it. But I yeah, just... I mean, I, I, your that point is is extremely, extremely good, and it's it's the reason why I went into this race try, trying to trying to beat him. As it wasn't so much, you know, distance as, as a whole. So I mean, it makes sense. It's just then you go through the field, and it's like, yeah, I, I guess the the idea the idea with the five. I could I could see it, but I mean, this horse is. What's fair odds on this horse? Uh, eight, six. You know. Yeah, uh, I mean six, eight. You know, I, I, I the, the thing with this horse is, you know, he's changed barns. Um. Yeah, and. Um, but he's had double I layoff think, lines since. Yeah, but that's okay. I, I'm, 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 because that's Dutro. I, I'm not worried about. It. That's how he kind of trains. And the, the horses, this is all this horse does is double layoff. He ran his best race on double layoff horns. I mean, is this, this is how he kind of runs? Um, he's got talent. You know, like you know, like he has his days where he's like really good. I mean, he beat some really good horses. You know, he, he's a great one winner at three. You know, um, and if he can, you know, if he can get back, and he's got some races here that he's good enough. And I'm just thinking, I, I thought that race was okay in the Met Mile. His race was pretty good. And I just think that, uh, you know, it's just six horses in a race. If he kind of kind of gets out there, he gets forward, um, you know, he could just stick around. I, I you know, I know I'm not, I'm not making like this glorious case for him, but, you know, I'm just like to your point, I, I just don't see anybody else. Like Zandon's fine. I would include him just because, you know, like he, he's, he, he could run fast enough he's got class i just don't trust him to win right um i think nine, but i do need nine furlongs is his best distance if he does have a best distance i don't like charge it i, I just i don't I like just charge don't. it either i've never right? i've never i've never liked charge it in that last race was like the perfect setup for him if you look at the yeah. plot he's like a quad, clear quad one square it's like yeah, that, he gets, that, was, yeah. that was exactly what he needed to win and he did and other than that he's just been He's not. See, he's could, not one that's a distance horse. Yeah. I could see him going, and then like, and then like, why did Barry like tracking him, right? And, that, and tr just tracking him, and maybe just like falling into the trip. That's that's kind of what I'm thinking. I, I am a little bit interested in Last Samurai too, because it. Um, I don't know what the track was that day in the Stephen Foster, but you know maybe it was similar to the speed favoring it was. Uh, so that was his first race in, in the, in his form cycle. So I mean he can move up. Um, just not sure about nine furlongs for him either. You know, if that's his optimal distance, but he can get it. Um, and he's a, and he's a big price. So, you know, I mean, this is the kind of race where if, if uh, Cody's doesn't win the race, it's just chaos, right? <laughs> just freaking well, I, Yeah. I, th I think that this is kind of his, his optimal distance and in the nine furlong races, I mean, it's just, you know, it's the horses that he's been, well, we do have a shorter. Yeah. That's you. Not. Yeah, yeah maybe not. That's that, maybe yeah. not. Um, yeah, it's 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 an interesting. It's you know, like it's interesting race if you 
but I understand why, like, you're really working hard if you try to beat Cody's wish. But uh, it's, it's just a typical, like, I could see them after the race saying, oh, the, you know, grave, graveyard of favorites. <laughs> I could just see, I could just hear it, you know. Um, and it's it's not for anything other than it's, like, just kind of odd, like, placing of this horse. And, I mean, I just think, you know, Mott's probably thinking, I can't do anything wrong. I'm going to try, try it, right? Everything's going great right now. The horse is doing great. I'm just going to try it. And I don't begrudge him that, I, but um, yeah, we'll see. I just, I, you know, anytime, especially like these, I, I really have nine furlong races. I do not like deep closers. Now you can yeah. say, he's, you can say he's not going to be a deep closer. If he's not going to be a deep closer, then he's taking himself out of his style. Well, look at his plot. He's sitting in quadrant two. Yeah. He's kind of behind everybody, right? Early on. And then he's going to make up some, he's going to, that's what I'm saying. So he's going to either have to, he's going to have to work hard to get to the, to the second call, like in position to, to win the race. And I think that plus closing may take its toll on him. That, that's just an yeah, idea. I, 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 again, I, I think that's, I think that's fair. I can't, I can't argue against that. Um, let's take a look at a, at another race. Look at the race six. Did you look at this one already? Yeah. I, I, oh, yeah, I did look at it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like a horse here. Um, and it's not the four. No. No, I mean, I mean, the four, I mean, the four could, you know, like, obviously, it's the four is the speed of the speed. But, you know, I'm looking for, I, I'm looking for the four. It all depends on how this turf course is going to play tomorrow. But, you know, yeah, okay. All those other horses that are going to be chasing the four, you could throw them out as far as I'm concerned. And that kind of leaves me with the one and the three. Okay. The one ran good in this race last year. It was a horse I gave out a couple of days ago and he was, I thought he was going to get the pace scenario. He didn't get, uh, but he ran. Okay. He finished like uh, fifth. It was a blanket race at the end. Right. But this three, Emily, my goodness, this horse has a close on him. This horse has a kick. I, I mean, I, I, I watched these last two races at Lone Star. Did you watch? I, I mean, I couldn't believe now that, that, that grass course looks like you're on a putting green. You know, so beware. But this horse has a monster kick. I mean, a monster kick. And I just, I would really consider this horse could could upset the four. Just could run right. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, I, I I mean I think if you're looking at the plot, I think the four is vulnerable. Um, I mean the seven, it's like I know the seven Rebelli horse. They send this horse. They're they're going to send yeah. this horse hard. They are going for the lead. Like they are not, they're not going to sit behind the four. No, no, he's just going. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they are going, they are going to the front and they're going to go, they're not going to go and try to rate. <laughs> they're yeah. sending for their life. And the four, you know, gets caught chasing that. Like, yeah, right. first of well, all, he's, he's if, she let, if she lets him go, then that could be that. But right. yeah, if she tries, if she tries to run with him early and, you know, then again, yeah. those other circles, I agree. Two five two five eight. They're they're done cakes in here, but um, yeah, that's yeah. I think the uh, seven. I think I think the four. I know the four. The only reason the four may have to go fast is if those other horses kind of, you know, he doesn't. He gets out of position, right? So he might want to be you want to use to stay closer. So yeah. if that's the case, yeah. I mean, it could make him vulnerable late and uh, bombs away. Yeah. The other thing I like I like about the one is the races. You know, I'm not big on this, but it does seem, uh, suggest intent. Um, the race is with Velasquez. Oh, yeah. That's his man. I mean, that's yeah. that Stonk's guy for when he wants to, you know, when he's. And this, and the race to... and the, the race that he ran in this last year, this is the same. This is the same angle. This is part of what I, what I was saying with the eight that was later. That's on today's sequence. See when he yeah. ran the Troy last year, he ran that like yeah. second off. Yeah. And that was a big race. That was burst. Yeah, one oh one oh one. Yeah, it's the same pattern, you know. So I, I, yeah. I thought he was gonna, you know, it's it's actually he's better, right? Because he he's coming off of eighty two figure in in, in the, the race before. He's coming off a much better race because horses weren't cl slowing down in front of him. So yeah, um, yeah I, I'm with you. So one and three are the horses that I'd be kind of using in the multi race. And what about what about the exactly. six? Because the six the six is kind of could get the trip on the plot. Yeah, could. Um, I 
I just, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I just, you know, I just class wise. Um, the other thing is, is this horse, I mean, if this pace goes fast, I think he'll be in trouble. Um, yeah. You know, because he's yeah. coming out a lot of average pace races and stuff like that. So I don't know, like, if if they throw some speed down, you know, does he get caught, like, because uh, he, he doesn't have the closing ability of those other horses. So maybe, yeah, maybe unless he falls right into it. If it was a five for a long race, I know this sounds like, you know, I'm picking, being picky here, but if this is a five for a long race, this kind of horse be okay. Because, you know, the race is over, right? So you could even yeah. be, like, tiring at the end and still win, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But, but when it's five and a half, you know, you have to actually make kind of a late move. And that so if it was a five for a long race, I like him better. Uh, and you can see, I think that's the other thing. He kind of runs well at five for longs. That's his yeah. thing. You know what I'm saying? Because he's got that, like, they go fast and he can kind of hang around and they fade. And, he, and he's just even pace. But in this age, with five and a half, he's going to have to, especially those horses coming, you know, down on him. But I, you know, I don't want to argue that, you know, maybe he gets a piece. Just because um, a couple, couple comments here. It's funny because I'm like reading the comments and Jess going like, any comments on the test? And I was like, we talked about the test. You missed it. But I remember you and I talked about the test before we went live. So we got people asking about the test. Uh, Jeff uh -huh. Jolly, any comments on the test? The three favorites, um, plot or notes. And then Chester Thomas says, I'm looking at possibly singling, money gold in the test. Think that will be a spread race for many others. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll pull up pull up the plot and look at it because yeah. I think we who, who, said, who, who said this singling money's going Chester Thomas yeah Chester I think that's right I'm with you um I I you know you watched that last race and he's just kind of like he had an easy lead and I I even said grit minds was shorter um I don't know if he's all cranked up and uh, you know I that was just I, a bad spot it's bad. It's, fine. it's a tough eight and a half furlongs for this horse. Miss Horse is a seven furlong specialist. And, um, you know, I just think, I think he just kind of controls things on the front end. And uh, it's going to be tough to, or, or I guess the two and the eight. Yeah, they, I don't know. I guess he could, he could go either way. I mean, he could control things on the front end. He can, I think he can sit off these two. Uh, but he looks strong in this case. He's, I mean, here's the reason why. Chi, Chi. Chi, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, she, this is the reason why I think I like her and probably Emily too. It's just like when we see a horse get like, you know, run like these, like brilliant. I mean, I know against these against Lester horses, but when a horse has shows that kind of ability and then she had the hard race. So she come out of a hard race and then she was being asked to do something she's never done before, go a distance longer than she, you know, should have. Um, now she's been getting time again. And uh, let's, I don't know, let's just, I don't know if you've seen her work in Emily. Let's just look at the raw workouts. Well, she's working at Churchill, which is weird. Yeah, which is weird, huh? Yeah. And I, I kind of like it. That's There's one a, of the. That's what you, know, you, you like it. I, I just no, think no, no, I don't like. I don't, I don't like. like she, I don't like that she's at Churchill, but I kind of like her pattern. Yeah. It's kind of steady, you know. She's yeah, that well. that's fine. Just the why why she's there when Pletcher is in New York. Yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, and the thing is, like, not only just with that with the hard race and the eight bells, but. You know, there's possible that it was some regression coming off that big effort at Tampa. I yeah. mean, they're probably expecting her to win, but like that race probably probably put her over the top. And and 40, 40 days is like decent recovery, but like not if they're not if that they're max. So she might have she might have posted that ninety eight and that effort. No, that that eight bells has not been a very productive race at all. But um the fact that she posted that with a regression is it could be an upgrade. And and you get you gotta you gotta admit this was the goal, no? For them, don't you think? This the race? Test? Yes. Yeah. 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 It wasn't the acorn. Well, yeah, no, no. I think the acorn was like, let's let's take let's a see, shot. Yeah, yeah. Give her one more race. There's no reason to really rest yet, then we'll freshen up and go to Saratoga, which is which is this. And I mean, yeah, and the fact that like they're coming off a race where two two losses at relatively short prices, they're gonna come back. They're not gonna come back like in a grade one with like this type of horse being short. I don't right. think. Right. I mean, if she if she doesn't run today, I don't think we ever see her again. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So. Exactly. 
Okay. Um, yeah, that's, I think that's all you got to say about that. I thought the five, a little bit of a long shot, better than looked at for in the victory ride. Maybe you can get a underneath piece of this thing or upset if uh, you don't like the five. No. Okay. No. I tried to, I tried to get, I, I didn't like her. I know the six will be like kind of a wise guy horse. This is the horse that David Aragona really likes in the six and uh, six? Darth Vader, the six. Okay, yeah. I don't know. I just, you know, I'm just thinking maybe this horse kind of peaked and now cutting back. Like what? Like, you know, I, I don't know. Well, I think I think the cutback is right. I mean, you have the one turn. And granted, she was at one turn last time, but yeah, a little bit different. One turn. You know, her one her one turn races yeah, are, are strong. Yeah, she, she, has, she has the grit. Yeah. I, I I just my comment to him was I just I feel like she's the horse that everybody's gonna try to get cute with. Yeah. yeah. You know, not wanting to play the seven. Crazy. Not, maybe lot. not wanting to play the eight, <clears throat> and then not wanting to play the one at a short price. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, just you know, plot wise, not crazy about her, but why not? I mean, she could she maybe gets trips out, could stalk. Uh, maybe the right with the cutback and distance might be the right thing. I, I wouldn't not include her in multi race, but I'm, I'm I, I don't know. I'm I'm for me you know, as a backup. I'm I'm with the seven. I'm with the Chester. Chester's got the right idea, I think. There. So okay, I'm not going over all of them. You can see them in focus if you buy the report. If you buy the there you go. <laughs> there you go. Um, great ideas, great card. Buy, buy, the, buy the ticket, take the ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. uh yeah we got horses in the paddock it's 10 minutes looks like the rain has stopped a little bit yep this is oh, a race where a, we were i see we were a chicago a chicago person in uh howard standing in the paddock right there baseball cap who's that guy uh he has a podcast here uh he lives here in chicago area um, oh, is, that, is that the guy you were on the air with you last couple weeks ago or no that was that was like filling yeah, he did. He did one of the Hawthorne uh, live. Yeah. Or yeah, well, yeah, yeah. He did it with yeah. Jim, and then then you. Yeah. Yeah. Was, okay. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, um, this race. Let me go back to race eight. Eleven minutes out. Okay, this race where I, I I was I went deep. I gotta be honest. I think I did. I had I my ticket. I have two, three, four, six, nine, ten. <laughs> so probably still lose the one. I don't have the one. Okay. I don't just know because the of the just because of the number or because you didn't. Yeah, work. yeah, exactly. I mean, because coming out of the same race as the you know, Manola was a good race. No, no knocks. I guess the other part of that horse got you know, there was the other one in there that got scratched. But um, yeah, I, I just just went against the favorite because I didn't want to have favorite favorite, and I, and I thought this race was open enough to take a shot. Yes. Yeah, because if you don't bet the one, then you could go. You could go anywhere here. Um, so we'll see. What was the? I, maybe I have it written down here. Yeah. Well, let me look at the one. It might have been some other reasons. Maybe you thought the horse was peaked in the last. Yeah, week. exactly. Exactly what I thought. It was a big effort. Um, Looks like they had some, some flow also. Yeah. Fast, I mean, yeah. Very fast plate. Yeah, my, my comment was like they were really going at it up front, but they weren't slowing down. So I, I thought mm. this was a strong effort. And I probably regret leaving this horse off. <laughs> but um, the other thing is, is um, yeah, I wasn't, I don't know. I, it, it, the other thing iffy about this race is obviously the, the ground, you know, mm. um, don't know. And um, we'll see if the rail is an issue. You ended up using the three? I didn't like this horse. Oh, just because of speed, maybe? Um, yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, um, that was the speed. I mean, I just, I don't know why I use this three. I mean, I, like I said, it, 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 this was one of those races where I didn't want to be beat, right? Because I mean, I have pretty well, good. But well, you didn't use the one. Yeah, true. 
but I wanted to get a price. That's that's kind of the reason why, mm -hmm. you know. Um, just thought that horse would be. I don't know why I didn't use the one. To be honest with you, because I had him down here. I just, I don't know. But um, any rate, um, yeah, I just maybe it was. Let me just look at the plot. I don't know. I really don't know. I, I think I think I might have evaluated speed wise because there's just not much pace. I thought the three might, you know, sit a trip behind the ten was my kind of thought. Yeah, that's the kind of reason I was thinking about. That that's kind of yeah. why I didn't like the one either. Kind of just the dynamic of this race. Yeah. Just, Andy's going six four one three. Sarah's going one five nine two. Five nine. Yeah, I, I can see the nine. I like the nine a little bit. Uh, but tough race. Yeah. I don't. I don't have any confidence. To be honest with you, that's what I did. What I did. I did want to beat the one though, because I, I think it was mainly this plot. I just. I think this horse. Maybe he gets him involved earlier, but. Who gets her involved earlier, but uh, him or him, her, him. But uh, that's kind of what I was thinking about. There's a two day pick six that starts here. Yeah, it's only one race, though. And then one race here, and yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I, I kind of I like the idea because at least it has people playing both days, you know? Yeah, but like I mean, from, least, a, from like a from like a racetrack. Yeah, yeah. You know, I work, too, working for a racetrack, I could see that being put a, put yeah. put put another race in there though. At least one more. It's at least balance a little bit better. No, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about balance. When the goal when the when the marketing goal is to get people to play two days, right? It doesn't two matter. It, the balance doesn't matter. It's just the fact that you're well, I'm not gonna, I'm, you're I'm invested not gonna, in two days right from the start. I'm, I'm not going to play because it's only one race one day. I, I don't want it. You know, I, I mean. I mean, it would have been nice to put the other stakes race, but I guess they saw that the horse was going to be an overwhelming favorite, but he wasn't. Didn't really. I mean, six to five was not bad on that horse. Like I said, I would have taken yeah. either money. My fair odds line on that horse was a bet. <laughs> <laughs> fair odds. <laughs> I would never bet that horse to win, though, but. Singling them in pick threes and pick fours, especially at the tail end. I mean, I, I singled them in the pick five, but that was because we were doing this. What else is going on? Oh, I sent you the um, the story about Turf Paradise. Yeah, so I thought, I thought they were going to do something to Turf Paradise, so that's why they're kind of shutting it down and developing some of the property around it, or I don't know what they're going to do inside of, if anything, to Turf Paradise. But I've, are they not coming back? Is that your... I, thought they I were, mean, the article says that, they, you know, they typically start the meet in, in November, and they're not. Yeah, yeah, they're not going to have the meet, that's for sure. But I'm just saying, I mean, but I don't know if that's like a, a permanent thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm because they said they were going to race, so I don't, you know, I, I, you know, you know, maybe they whatever development they're going to do to the properties they need to shut the track down. Um, I don't know if they're going to do anything to the track itself. I mean, that, that track needs some overall something. Um, but um, I, yeah, I, don't I just I can't I can't see I can't see Jerry Sims doing anything to that track. Well, he's not the owner anymore. That's I mean, new yeah, owners. That's yeah, that's new owners. So, so the new owners came in. They say they're gonna they're gonna race, but mm -hmm. so far, <laughs> yeah, not a, not a positive move. Uh, so, but because they had you know that there was so much property around. Remember they put the Walmart in yeah. one of the the areas, and there's still so much stuff there. You know, so much free room there, new stuff. Uh, so, I don't know. Maybe I think it's just be disruptive. I don't know what happens to all the horses. Well, at least they gave the horsemen like enough enough warning because none of the horses are there this time of year, anyways. They're in, they're at Canterbury or 
Right, right. But they, they will they're be. So, they're somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. They'll have to, you know, so I guess a lot of, a lot more, look for Emerald Downs having a big meet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, it's not so easy though, because even though the horses are elsewhere, it's like, oh, you gotta, you know, if you have, if those horsemen have like houses in Arizona, sure. like, you know, it's, it's like, oh, now you're going to go get a house in Seattle. Have fun. Right. Have fun with that. You yeah. know? Especially, I mean, not that Arizona is as cheap as it once was, but that area of town at least is still somewhat, somewhat affordable. Um, and then, and then with no Golden Gate, you can't go there. Yeah. But I don't know who would go there anyway. Just probably, I, I, I can't, I can't even understand a horseman even made it there. You know, to, between the cost of living in that area and. I guess that's why you have five and six horse fields every day. Yeah. I guess that's why they're not racing there anymore, too. I mean, I guess there's some, you know, there's some housing. It's still expensive. It's the Bay Area, but like not going towards Berkeley, San Jose area, but going the other way. There's some towns in there that it's probably a little bit cheaper to live in. Yeah. We're still in the paddock. It started raining again. Two minutes to post. It's okay if you don't care about safety either. So, so, so a little rough some of those areas. I, I used to work. Um, I used to work for pharmaceuticals. Bad pharmaceutical, but but for a little bit. And uh, where was the? Uh, I'm trying to think of where their facility was. But I mean, because it's, it's on Gilman Street on the the water side on the right. other side of the train tracks. Yeah. Cause yeah. I lived, I lived right there. I lived directly on the other side of the train tracks. Like the train went by my window. Yeah. yeah. It was Burl X was the name of the company. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was a small pharmaceutical. Um, yeah. They, they developed a, beta Ciron, which was a MS drug way back, I don't know, 30 some odd years ago now, maybe even longer. Boy, my uh, someone, someone called Tim Carey uh, is telling us that it's a weather delay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Also the name of the owner of Hawthorne. Oh, cool. I don't know if it's the same person. I can't imagine, but well, what, what happened to poor Jim Carey? I, I haven't followed any of his. Oh, I mean, I, 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 I saw him. He doesn't look good. You know, he just kind of looks like, um, you know, he's obviously he doesn't look like his happy self anymore. I, I think he's found religion or something now. I think that's his latest thing. Yeah, he, he's, he's, he's a tremendous artist, though. I've seen some of his stuff. He's really good, actually. But, yeah. uh, you know, he's just a tortured soul, talent off the charts, but obviously some demons and he's just trying to search for the, something and he just doesn't he just looks doesn't look good but um no weather delay um it's not but it's my real name lol okay tim <laughs> <laughs> i just i wasn't sure if you were my boss or not that if well, i needed to like you know make sure i was like, on my again. Not not saying any bad words or anything, but now now it's clear. It's a different. Yeah, you see all the right. bad words you want. <laughs> exactly, it's game on. It's game on. Yeah, it's really coming down and yeah. weather wise. And, and and they may take this could could you know possibility they can take this off the turf. No. I mean, if they're if they're gonna do it, it's like do it now. Like yeah. what? Don't I mean? Do you think this the rain's not gonna get better? You know. Yeah. It's do, either do, Run these horses now, or move it to the main track. Yeah, I don't know. Unless it's a unless it's a passing storm, and maybe that's why they're doing a delay. They think it's going to clear in like five minutes. Yeah, but I don't know. I mean, it's uh, the one thing you could predict about uh, Saratoga weather is it's unpredictable. That's that's really. Yeah. I mean, it's just like it'll look great one minute, and then you know, thunderstorm rolls in. I mean, rolls in fast um oh there's lightning in the area thanks jeff appreciate oh, that yeah. uh lightning okay appreciate that's it. that's well that's great that's yeah. yeah that's great thank you thank you so much um 
Chester Thomas asking if we if we've looked at the Saratoga Derby. We have, but I think it's being saved for the focus package. Yes. Uh, we could look at. Go at Delmar. Does Delmar, Delmar, Delmar have a big race tomorrow? Um, they have a Clement Hirsch race ten. I don't think it's that exciting of a race, but we can take a look at it. Chad, Chad, Brown, Chad Brown has to have a horse in there, no? No, it's just a uh, dirt race. Oh, it's dirt. Oh, I thought it was the Clement Hirsch. Okay. Oh, boy, that's, that is nice. <laughs> yeah, see, you have an optic silver plan. You're set. You're all, you're all, you'll get the Saratoga Derby. Um, yeah, I didn't think it was that interesting of a race. This is not this is not one of the races I picked for the Time Forum podcast. What'd you pick? I picked race four. Yeah, that's it. Race. Don't let them go see the, your podcast. I don't want to. Well, they can, it's not they don't get to see the visuals. Oh, don't I hear mean, me talk yeah. about it, but yeah. they they can't they don't see the plot on there. It's just audio. And they got to get the visuals on that show. Um. And then uh, the race nine and 11. And 11, right? Yeah. So it's those three. They're all they're all tough races. There's no horse that stands that really stands out in any of those races. Hmm. What do you think? You're looking at it. Uh, no, I'm not. Oh, I'm you were looking at something, at something else? else. I was looking at the uh, Saratoga race. Mm. Just to see what kind of oh oh yeah 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 yeah. I remember it. Sorry, do <laughs> What's that like a plane flying around? Oh, that's an interesting race, that race. I don't remember it now. Which one? Uh, Saratoga Derby. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that's that was, one. That, was, that is one we talked about on that time for yeah, the podcast. That's, that's, yeah, it's tough. It's a tough race. Mm, no, we like we have an idea in that race. I like our idea in that race. Yeah. Yep. All right, so we're gonna wait it out here or what? Is there anything else that we want to look at? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. I guess we could we can end the stream because uh, we could be we could be here. Yeah, we don't know for, what's gonna happen here. Yeah. So. All right. Well, everyone, thank you for your comments. And remember, uh, if you want to. Uh, by, if people don't know what we're talking about, let me just show you. So this is what the uh, focus report kind of looks like. By the way, if you want to look at, you know, a quick reference thing, you go to info, quick reference, you get this, you know, the races will be in there, you click, and then, you know, this is how the entries look. So you get um, kind of a race label, kind of a, you know, pseudo wagering strategy comments, you get the three run lines with information here below with our kind of analysis. And then you get this rank report at the bottom. It kind of gives you in order of uh, the morning line, right? And then you can kind of compare and contrast <clears throat> to the actual odds to our fair focus odds. Fair line. That's a big thing now I see on Twitter. Fair odds line, a focus odds line, okay? Uh, and then you can compare and contrast. And then if you to have this report. You can look at it the next day and see the results so you can compare the actual. Uh, Emily, we're working on trying to get this to be um, the, the real-time odds so mm -hmm. that if you're in here, you can actually look at the real-time odds and see how things compare and contrast. 
and go beyond that at some other point to, to do more things. But that's kind of the idea. Uh, so, yeah, you just go to our website. You, and, you, you know, uh, the Silver Plan gives the, you know, the notes for all the tracks that we're talking about uh, and everything. And you just go to buy. And that's the Silver Plan right there. Bing, bada, boom, you buy for daily, weekly, monthly, whatever you want. The weekly is a hell of a deal. Okay, that's it. Anything else? I no. think that's it. We just said uh, thank you so much. It's always a pleasure. Jeff, I appreciate you every weekend and updating on the weather and all the good questions. Love it. Yeah, good luck, everyone. I could Dan, and we'll uh, talk to you next week. Sounds good. All right, everybody. See you next week. Ending right.